morning. So today is decorating for Christmas day. So the tree is going in this corner. So I've decided I think I'm just going to do the tree here and I might do my white winter wonderland scenery um, on this sideboard here that I do every year. This is probably like my favorite bit even though I love the Christmas trees and I love decorating them this when I look at it I feel like I am transported somewhere else so I probably will do this bit and maybe in my living room I will put some Christmassy um, why am I looking over there <laughs> Christmassy accents um, as well I don't know yet as you know I'm not as enthusiastic this year and you all know because of the sofa gate <laughs> so um you never know i might get right in the mood and go the whole shebang you know uh, but louis has his haircut today so this is very inconvenient because it's like a mid-morning at 11 o'clock so i will have to break away take him there and then an hour and a half later i have to drive to take him back so i can't really like get stuck in um so it probably it might take me more than just one day i might take it slow i don't know but we are doing something today so here is louis just before his haircut I always take him for a quick short walk before he goes in so he can go to the toilet if he needs to Go on in Okay, so I've just dropped Louis off um, I've set up my camera I'm mic'd up I just need to make myself a cup of coffee and then I will put this tree up Okay, so the tree that goes in here is the one that I bought from Balsam Hill two or three years ago. And it's called Frosted Alpine, Frosted Alpine Balsam Fir. Uh, it's seven and a half foot tall uh, and it has lights already on it, which is great. The only thing is, uh, can you see that uh, stand? That's not very pretty, but I have small circular skirt for it, so I cover it, I suppose, because this tree is not as thick and heavy. It doesn't need like the tripod type of stand. Right, let's do it. Ta-da! And that's how easy it is. I love this tree, absolutely love it. As much as I like big, thick trees, this one is gorgeous. It just looks so natural. It reminds me of something in the woods. And to be honest, I like this tree on its own, even without decorations. You know, if I had more room, I would have few of those in a group in different sizes. That would be so beautiful. Now, because I have a dining table here, I need to lift up the back branches and push it as close as possible to the wall make sure that all the branches are where I want them. They don't really bend much, the back ones you can bend a bit. Um, I will fluff it up a bit. 
but they are not like most trees that you can really fluff them up. It's not a fluffed up type of tree really. Oh, I forgot to take that picture. <laughs> I don't like to take it off. I remember one year someone said you should take that picture off of there because it's taking attention away from the tree. But because I'm so used to it being there, when I take it off, I feel like it's empty, but I will take it off. I've got just this little thing. Now, where do I put it so I don't forget it after Christmas? Um, right, remember this, if I forget and I come back to ask you, mind you, I will have this on the video. <laughs> I'm putting it in my small acrylic draw thingy with lipsticks. Okay, so that's the tree. I'm going to take the box away and bring some decorations down. So, I am back. I've picked up Louis. Look how beautiful he looks. Um, I also changed because I was getting really hot in that thick cardigan. So now I'm going to get on with decorating. So I'm thinking of using this sort of champagne gold silvery mercury glass type, these are my favorites. And I think I might add that pale greeny blue to it. It just very muted, I would say. I'm not doing any pop of color. And remember, I also have these. These are also from um, Balsam Hill. I got them maybe last year or two years ago. They come in different sizes. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to hang them like on the edges of those long ones. Um, I think that looks really nice. So first I'm going to put things right deep in a tree because it is not very thick. It's nice to have, don't, don't just hang things on the edges. You want that lovely, um, 3D effect and some sort of dimension to it. Chilling and having a good, good time So as you can see, <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. 
I've just started adding the little pink flowers and these bowls that I've made sometime. So I think I quite like it like this. So I think it turned out very similar to last year, <laughs> the pink and, and sort of green. Um, but yeah, I think I will put these in properly now. Okay, I think that's me done. Pretty happy with it. I think it is very similar to last year, but obviously really enjoyed it. I think I've put a bit less stuff than last year. I actually have uh, this faux sheepskin skirt for it that fits right in there. I just bought, bought a round one and cut it, but this one is bigger. This one is for my big tree, but because I'm not using the big tree, I've put it there and it looks a bit fuller. What I might also do, do you remember I have these um, like starburst lights, but I haven't found them yet. So I might put these lights on a tree as well. It looks nice with extra lights. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up here and then try to tackle um, that little light space. Everyone's waiting for snow So just to let you know that everything I'm using this year is not new. I've had this for years. I will link anything that is still available, like my tree I think is available every year. Uh, but all the decorations, trees like this, I bought ages ago and I just use them every year so I can't give you links to everything. So now I just have lights to put on, on all these bits and I shall be done. Christmas with 
so much love And with joy and laughter Let us make memories that stay forever It's Christmas today All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you. Okay, my lovely, so that's it. That's all I'm doing. If I add some bits somewhere, I will show it to you. But I'm sure that that's all. Which way shall I stand so you can see it? This is like my favorite, favorite bit. When it gets dark, it looks absolutely beautiful. Bye my lovelies. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't much like I all normally do, but I promise next year will be different. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy decorating and stay fabulous. Bye.